Hi guys, this is Andrew and welcome to the next episode on AF Swift Tutorials. In this episode, I'd like to explain you an adaptive pattern in Swift. But first, let's briefly talk about design patterns, the history of patterns, who has created them and why do we need to follow them. Who invented patterns? Design patterns are an obscure, sophisticated concepts, quite the opposite. Patterns are typical solutions to common problems in object-oriented design. When a solution gets repeated over and over in various projects, someone eventually puts a name to it and describes the solution in detail. That's basically how a pattern gets discovered. Okay, so what's a design pattern? Design pattern is a typical solution to commonly occurring problem in software design. They are like a pre-made blueprints that you can customize to solve a recurrent design problem in your code. So why should you learn design patterns? Design patterns are a toolkit of tried and tested solutions. It means other developers already have been using those patterns many times and they follow good practices and make your code more robust, more testable and uh, help you to follow good practices. There are three main categories of design patterns – creational, structural and behavioral. Creational patterns provide various object creation mechanisms which increase flexibility and reuse of existing code. Structural patterns explain how to assemble objects and classes into larger structures, while keeping those structures flexible and efficient. Behavioral patterns are concerned with algorithms and the assignment of responsibilities between the objects. Okay, so now after a quick explanation, let's get back to the adapter pattern. Adapter is a structural design pattern which allows incompatible objects to collaborate. For instance, we have data loading system that expects to get an JSON data from an API. And we have two APIs, one returns JSON and second XML. So our JSON API works just fine, but how do we uh, make our XML API work. We can make use of an adapter pattern that will be translating our XML to JSON and then we'll, we'll be feeding that adapter to the data loading system. So now let's take a look on a practical example. Alright, so let's start creating our example from a protocol that our APIs should follow and then I'll create two APIs and a data loading system. So we're expecting our APIs to follow downloadable protocol and have download function inside to load the data. So now let's create two APIs. And as you can see, one of our APIs won't be following that protocol. Instead of download, our integer API has a fetch function that returns int instead of string. So the second API follows the downloading protocol, even if it does not adopt it yet but we can use it in a data loader. So let's create a data loader. All right, so our data loader has a property API which conforms to downloadable and download data method that calls an API download to load the data. But as you can see, integer API doesn't follow that. So how could we enforce integer API to work with our data loader? We can make use of an adapter pattern. And there are two ways to make it in Swift. The first way is more old fashion is to create a adapter structure and force it to conform to downloadable. And as it doesn't have a download function but fetch, 
here we call fetch function and convert it to string. So now integer API adapter could work with a data loader. Second way is more swift way is using extensions. Our string API already conforms to downloadable, so we don't need to add any methods inside of the extension. But for integer API, we need to add download method in order to conform to downloadable. And that the same method we have made use of in integer API adapter. So we could just copy and paste it out here. All right, so now let's try make use of data loader and first let's try integer api and run the playground and we're getting one to three which is the result of integer api now we can change our api to string api and try to download some data we're getting some string and the last one let's try our custom created adapter and again it works just fine and we're getting one two three so that was an adapter pattern if you like this video make sure you left thumbs up down below subscribe to this channel for more videos and thank you for watching and I will see you next episode. Bye-bye.